hey guys how you doing i know i've been it's been a while i didn't make a video yet and um, finally decided to make a video on muhammad hassan and the Wari channel i know it's been more than a year and there's some reasons that i did not upload any videos i mean there's not like it's not like i cannot down i don't have any content or i cannot down download any or upload any video about Muhammad Hassan and Dawari but it just it just what I'm what I'm gonna wanna say is that it just I created the channel when Muhammad Hassan returned to wrestling in 2018 I created this channel after the return I thought he was gonna come back to WWE for like a one-off appearance and something like that and I decided to upload his matches you know all, all the things so maybe he could come back but but now i don't see any hope of him coming back i i just i just stop uploading his videos but the other reasons i got married i have a young son so i have to take care of him i have a job so i have so many responsibilities at that time i was single i didn't have that many responsibility i used to have more time to make videos and all that but now i have more um, things to do in life than just be on focus on wrestling and all that but it's not like that i cannot make videos i, I was gonna upload I, like, like last year when i stopped doing wrestling making videos on muhammad Hassan the worry that i had a I had a great plan to do commentary on Muhammad Hassan and the Wari all their matches you know I was gonna do the commentary from starting from his match from I think I did on a new revolution his match against Jerry Lawler Muhammad Hassan but I was gonna do his all matches he wrestled on Raw all matches of the Wari and um, pay-per-view too and then the Smackdown what four or five matches he, he had with the um, in, in smackdown so i was gonna do the commentary of my commentary i was i was gonna mute the commentary the real i was gonna do my commentary in their matches to see how they how they would do it how, how they how muhammad Sa wrestles versus are like wrestling skills wrestling moves you know i could have like added my own things in those things that could have um, been a it could have been it would have been awesome i would i was gonna do it i mean it's, i'm not saying i will not able, i'm not gonna do it maybe i do it but if if I, even if i do it it will be like a once in a while i will not be able to like do it every week i will be like making one video at in a one month i'm thinking about doing it like doing a commentary on mama um and the worry but pretty busy if I'm like gonna talk about myself, I'm pretty busy with my job, my family and all that. So I don't have that much time to do videos right now. I, I'm like all the time working or, or taking care of my family. And second thing I stopped, yeah, as you guys already I told you that Mamda San never came back to WWE. And I thought all that hype all that videos was was just to recreate those memories recreate those videos upload those videos and and talk about Muhammad Hassan again was because at that time in 2018 19 Muhammad Hassan was active in wrestling he came back and this is not what I thought because I met him in 2018 after his match two matches three wrestled three he wrestled three matches i think in after after he came back i met him in 2018 summer in new jersey there was like a out of or seminar something some show he showed up and we talked about i think i mentioned this already in my videos and uh, and he 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 even had had a big interview with honeyball tv i think where the uh, the title is where is mom the son these days that same event i met him and he was at that time i spoke to him about his 15 minutes about his wrestling career and all that he was open to a wrestling he was 
like not wrestling i'm saying he was i mean it's been a while i didn't make a video so i keep forgetting how to do this but as far as i remember five years ago he was open to a return to wwe as a one-off appearance he was not what he told me when i met him in new jersey in that wrestling event that he was open to a one of wrestling one of WWE appearance and like like a royal number or like a suddenly uh, interrupting someone on raw or something like that he, he would not have minded if WWE had called him in 2018 or 19 before covid he he i i, I the way he, the way he his body the way he said that i, I would have not have surprise he would have said yes to make up at least make appearance to to wwe at least or in saudi arabia you know he would have he would have uh, had a um, come back in saudi arabia that would have been fucking i think awesome it would have been fucking great wrestling in arab country saudi arabia that's his his from his gimmick gimmick is from so it so there was a possibility that he could have came back at that time and uh, but covid run everything i think covid run i believe that covid run everything for many so many people so many people die but i'm not talking about that i'm talking about wrestling covid run again covid run muhammad san character and muhammad marco pani again i think i believe muhammad san character and marco pani is not made for wrestling i mean they, they, he's a great last the character was great but f his first run was totally fucked up by those London bombing and mass man guys and when he tried to make a comeback like a one of a fan or something like at a royal rumble or raw or, or in the or in the saudi arabia some kind of a show when the body showed up with the body the body he would have been be there too i don't know but w never called him but maybe he, they could have called him in 2020 or 2021 i don't know but covid run it again second time covid run it for mom the son to come back to wwe and um, the reason i'm saying this because i have a i still have a chat because after i met muhammad i be, we became friends i told him i upload his videos i upload i have i have his facebook page he appreciated me he say you, you are a good you talk you 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 make good videos you make you upload good pictures of me and he was happy about it he 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 thought i was doing a okay job at that time for whatever reasons so he i became his his friends on facebook and um, we used to talk a lot like when he was active in 2018 20 18 19, 20 we used to talk a lot about his wrestling and he, he we became like we never became friends but we were like always whenever i whenever i used to message him he will always reply me like if not at that same day maybe like next day or in two days he will reply me and answer my question whatever i ask him about what's he doing and all, all, all his life and all that you know but uh, there was always a question me asking was i was gonna ask him that are you gonna return to wwe or are you gonna do something wrestling i have a chat i haven't deleted that but i don't i, I don't want to show i can't show to anyone because he 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 told me to promise him that he will add me on a facebook but he promised me that he will not use he will I, will I will not misuse his uh, pictures or videos of his personal life in uh, on facebook i will not upload those pictures on my page or on my youtube channel or facebook page so and he thought he told me that you need to have my permission to do anything if i say then yes so keeping that promise i never uploaded his personal picture because with, with his family and and i only upload his pictures with or his videos with only 
related to wrestling. I never, I kept my promise. That's all I can say. I cannot show him you a chat. I cannot sh upload any. I never uploaded his view, pic personal pictures with his family or him by himself or like I'm. I'm. I have. I have. I have. I have I'm still his friend on his Facebook. So he uploads a lot of pictures with his son, with his family and his uh, his life you know but i never you know i like them i mess i never comment them i like them i just see them that's all but i never you know misuse them but one question i used to ask him a lot that are you going to return to uh, wwe and one time i remember it was 2019 i believe yeah 2018 he came back in april and 19 was the royal rumble and i i, I sent him the video of, of 2005 rumble rumble that hey mark i wish this could happen again you return to wg in a, in a royal rumble he and i remember i have a chat he told me yes buddy maybe but not this year he said to me I remember that very very fondly that that he said in 2019 he messaged me that he saw the video he liked it he say yes buddy maybe but not this year so that was what was the why what was the reason why he said maybe not this year next year he said that so maybe there was a chance that he might have there was hundred percent possibility that he could have made it to uh double two g for just one or one night appearance in because he told me he just wanted to feel that feel that that moment or of being on the biggest stage of wrestling in wwe again you know he wanted to relieve that again so he was open he was open he was just that fucking WWE never called him never contacted him because because all the fucking controversy and all that shit they just they just parted away from that character they never want to even talk about that character even, I mean f f forget about bringing him back or doing something with him so totally broke WWE broke away with that character since 2005 and and that said that they don't want to do anything with that character anymore and it's sad that even if Kopani, Mark Kopani, Muhammad Hassan wanted to come back to WWE at that time in 2019 or something no, WWE, I don't believe that WWE had any interest to bring him back at that time but maybe maybe if Muhammad Hassan, Mark Kopani had pushed it or he had um, um or maybe he he had wrestled more matches or he he got more attentions of wwe he might have come back but i know he 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 did an interview with the syracuse local chan news channel that he will never wrestle again he's gonna focus on his principal career i remember that but i'm i'm not saying he was more was not wrestling wwe he was just gonna interrupt someone or make a surprise entrance at Royal Rumble or or you know just just cut a promo in the ring about something you know about America it, it was gonna happen that guy I, I believe that too because the because on, on Muhammad Hassan part he was ready to come back but on it's just fucking WWE never connect and then the, and never contacted him and then COVID happened COVID happened and everybody knows that everything was shut up everything was shut down so wrestling was only watched by online there was no people in the crowd and all that and that there there was chaos and then if even if there was a hope of coming back of the sun that just you know fell away it just it just fell away it just it just disappeared like the way he's he disappeared in 2005 so again a bad luck he might have came back in 2019 20 21 but after covid that 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 hope of him coming back was never gonna happen and he never wrestled a match again after that 
his third match he never any did any wrestling he never attend any wrestling show after that so he was just a one off he would just wanted to one off to, to do wrestling or independent and maybe on WWE but that never happened you know so and after that i realized that during covid i thought he was not gonna come back to wwe is impossible now so i then i i it's not like i started losing trust in 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 in, rap, in muhammad hasan and all that i still like him i still watch his videos you know i just he just it just broke my heart that he's not gonna come back so i just try to spend my time on other things that was more more valuable for me in the future than just looking and 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 talking about mamda san because when i was those men i was making those videos he was still a hard topic he was in he was he just he just came to wrestling and that time he was so there was something someone has to talk about him at that time and i did i did my part hasan did his own part wwe never fucking did any is their part and then covid shit happened then uh, just for all fucked it up back to 2005 so yeah that's been a story since then you guys may be wondering where i where i am being i'm just i'm just living same life like a, a normal life like everyone lives and and i'm about mohammed hasan mark pani he he is he living normal life too just like everyone does he he just i'm sure he just go to school and then he just come back and take care of his family and you know, you know daily basis to his life and that's all but speaking of uh, talking to him i don't talk to him that much i mean i will really talk to him these days i mean last time i spoke to him maybe like in a conversation was like a, more than a year now but i do wish him like uh, when he's like you know his birthday i wish him happy birthday or is if there's a video like uh, i had i sent him a video of him his match against the rhino that never was seen before i sent him the video of him wrestling with kane in a dark match in in uh, in uk so so yeah i randomly talk to him i mean I'm, it's not like that if 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 i message him and he's going to not going to reply me he will reply me. he's a nice guy he's a nice person he always you know nice talk nicely to everyone but i just message him i'm going to message him for what you know when i was when i was messaging him at that time there was a reason to message him you know because he was want to come back to wrestling to wwe now what i'm going to say on now i only barely message him i will say hey how you doing or like um i will say like uh, on his birthday i will wish him that's all or like his picture as well but i i don't i don't um, do something else uh with him anymore on my channel or with my facebook page i don't do anything with that i just been down since he he stopped wrestling again so what are yeah those are the updates i was going to i was always thinking about doing update on me so yeah here i am i'm still alive i'm still alive I know one of some of my fans still miss me they want me to make me to make more videos I mean there's a lot of I can make a lot of videos on Muhammad Hasan I have a lot of content I can do I mean I would love to have your guys opinion or your guys uh uh thing on this too that if you guys want me to have do commentary on his matches let me know leave in let me know in in the comment that maybe you guys interested then maybe that will like uh, make me doing it i will do it so if you guys want me to do commentary on his wrestling matches i will do it and uh, but it will be 
be a while but i will try to do it like on every once a month you know starting from his first match to last match but other than then there's no other update i don't know what's devai doing i think he's still with uh, wwe as a producer or something he's been he just i don't know what happened to that guy too he just totally he had a he used to have an instagram he used to have a facebook he totally like tweeted them and all of them he just he just lost too he just he just disappeared too there's no way to find him devari doesn't even have a facebook or instagram he was very active like 5 6 years ago very active on instagram or facebook but now he's like he's gone for 3 4 years now i don't see him anymore and the same for muhammad i mean he's a very private guy you know he don't like to share his private life with anyone so that that's up to him but what else we're going to talk about it you know the only thing we can do is i can do is commentary on his matches i mean so this was just a video to just to update what i am doing right now in my life and what i what muhammad hasan is doing in his life i mean both both i think basically doing a non living a normal basic 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 life like daily to daily life basis life so yeah i'm tired it's been like a like a, almost 1 am in the morning just gonna try to go to sleep but i thought i will make a video and then go to sleep so the only the purpose of this video was just to let my friends or whoever was is watching my video just that i'm still alive and i'm doing okay and 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 there's no update on muhammad hasan he just he just he's he's in a education uh, field and is doing great over there that's it and i and i don't I'm unfortunately I'm saying I don't see him ever coming back to wrestling or even WWE at all. No, I don't I I lost hope. Maybe never say never but I don't think so. He would have came back at that time but I don't think it will never happen again. So what else? That's it now. That's update for me and for Muhammad Hasan and Dawari. Dawari is lost. Hasan is lost. So am I. I'm lost. We are in lost in our own world. That's all we can see. So, all right, guys. I'm gonna go to sleep now. So I'll I will definitely make a video again soon. Not soon, but definitely make a video like in one or two weeks. That if I'm gonna if I have if I get comments and all that to do commentary on videos on Muhammad Hasan. and dawari i will do it and um, i'm sh- i'm sure i have to do some things that you guys knew about my chat with him he's coming back to wwe and what happened what caused covid or this whatever the reason and uh, that's all so take care see you guys some day again